the Greenland representative mentioned that you had agreed to give Greenland and the Faroe Islands a larger role uh, in Arctic issues. What will that matter for security policies coming out of the Kingdom of Denmark? What kind of role will they have? You mentioned NATO, and a lot of the Arctic nations are NATO uh, members or partners, and they're very active. But NATO doesn't really itself have a big role. What role if, do you see for NATO in the Arctic in future? Thank you. Mm. Well, thank you for that question. First of all, uh, the, the whole principle that guides also my own government is we are together, the three parts of the kingdom, Greenland, Faroe Islands, and Denmark, on common issues. So when there are security challenges in, in the Arctic, then we deal with it together and we are working uh, on an equal footing with this. Well knowing that we have uh, the Danish constitution that is the, the legal framework for, for, our, um, uh, for our unity of the realm. We share intelligence, we share analysis, we discuss, and I have personally, um, you know, uh, since I took office two and a half years ago as foreign minister, been many, uh, several times in the Faroe Islands and Greenland discussing, of course, with my governmental partners but also with the parliaments about uh, what we see and what the challenges are. So we believe in this respectful, inclusive uh, approach uh, where we, we need to face the security environment together because there are changes in the Arctic, no doubt. Uh, we see more activities, also military activities, that we have to be aware of and we have to protect our interests uh, as sovereign nations, Greenland, Faroe Islands and, and Denmark. So that is the idea and I think it works well. Um, but we're always improving and learning uh, also from each other. 